What's going on, everybody? No, it's been a while since I made a vlog, but I want to be able to provide you guys quality, not quantity. But I'm back. Uh, just want to give you guys just a quick little update. Uh, we're going to do another car vlog. Uh, also, let me know if you like the car vlogs. Uh, I know it's kind of a little bit out there or different but sometimes you just gotta do things like right then and there but today i had done something that i wanted to do for so long i, I just wanted to find ways to help others be impactful kind of just do something to know that i'm being an individual that's kind of helping others make their lives a little bit easier but I've always wanted to do like a Habitat for Humanity or like clean up for people that can't do it because they have a disability going on like they hurt their back they they, they injured themselves with their arm or just whatever I don't know or feed the homeless just stuff like that and luckily through work we have opportunities to volunteer so out of any job that i've ever worked in this one the, the place where i currently work they always have volunteering opportunities and today i got to participate in called rebuilding together and it's similar to habitat for humanity so the person that we helped he had worked for Ford and the plant was over in Hapeville. If you don't know where Hapeville is, Hapeville is pretty much over where Hartsville Jackson Atlanta airport for those that don't know the specific name for it, but over by Hartsville airport. And he worked there for a long time. We'll just put it like that, like a really long time. And then the last place that he was at after four when they closed the plant down uh he had hurt his back and so we went over to help clean up his home outside inside and a whole bunch of other things and this was over in west atlanta uh pretty much zone one if you know the zones of atlanta uh over by bankhead by the mercedes-benz stadium and so we were all divided among groups. And so there's one group that's dealing with the inside, redoing paint, uh, painting the walls, painting ceilings, baseboards, etc. And then you have other groups that are outside. And the way how it feels outside, the way it's been feeling actually for, for the past, in, for all five days since Monday, it's been not too hot. It's been having that nice cool breeze to it. Just like a true fall feel, like it really should in September. I mean, I know global warming is causing everybody's climate to be out of whack, but it truly felt like a fall day. And we started at nine. And what we had to do was clean out the yard, uh, clean out over by the side of the porch. That was so it could be a walkway and kind of just structurally make the home more improved so what i did was on my part i uh trimmed out some of the the vines that had been growing uh that were just it, they were just crazy just a bunch of the vines had to trim those away first then rake out all the weeds that was really fast I mean, if you know yard work, yard work's not that hard. It's just easy, just time consuming. Uh, rake the leaves on the in the backyard, and then that just pretty much cleaned out everything. So that was the first step. And then the second step was to take out this old metal railing and put in a new wood railing. And so me and three other people, we had to structurally get everything together for the base of the rail so had to get the post at the end of the bottom of the steps intact then 
had to do their rest to get it all put together. And overall, for that project, I mean, it took all day, but you want to make sure everything is measured correctly, everything is structural, aesthetically looking, appealing, and just something that looks complete. And so that was, it was a good task to do because, you know, everybody can't do the things they want to in their own home, especially if you've injured yourself. But having the owner of the home just kind of interact with everybody, I mean, he was cool, dude, grateful. I mean, awesome guy. And when we had lunch, he was telling us stories that you wouldn't even imagine. Like, one story he told us that in 1992 in Atlanta, over on the west side where he lives, it flooded. And he was telling us how it flooded near his home and how on one side of the creek... It was a flood, but then on the opposite end of the creek and then in the middle of the street, nothing was flooding at all. So that was interesting to know that there was a flood here in Atlanta in 1992. I mean, I wasn't even born in 92, so we can get that one established. <laughs> uh, but this man, he's been living in his home for 52 years from the time that he bought it. And... There's other stories that he had told us that I'm just going to keep between me, him, and the other people that were there to hear it because that's more personal and I want to respect that. But just to know that I was able to be there to hear these things, to see what this side of Atlanta already has and provides. I mean, I've already been through zone one multiple times but to actually be there see the neighborhood that he's in and help improve his home i mean there's no better feeling than that than that at all i mean it's rewarding and also i'm not going to edit this video at all because i'm gonna keep it all the way 100 from what i'm saying there's no need to edit this i mean what i'm gonna say is what you're gonna get so overall like it was just, I had fun with it. It felt good. I know I'm, I want to be able to do more of these, of these type of things because it's just something that is rewarding and it feels good to know that you're able to help those, like I've already reiterated, and then you're giving back to community. And just to see that there, these people are so thankful for you to come out and help them to help improve things that they're not able to do or they don't have the time to do. I mean, what more could you ask for? There's really not much more you could really ask for in this world. So I hope you, it's, this is a short video I'm giving you guys. I hope you appreciate what you hear. I hope that you're able to go out and do some sort of volunteering. If you're able to, if you're, if it's through your work or even if it's outside of work, if you research for things, uh, I mean, do it. You won't regret it at all. I I wanted to do it. I'm so glad I did it. And I don't regret a single thing. And there should never be a reason to regret trying to help other people. When you help those, that means you're making an impact on their lives. And when you do that, then, I mean, you don't know what will get out of it. But it's going to be something that's positive, never negative. I don't see nothing negative in the outline of that. So leave a comment below on what you think. Uh, let me know what's your favorite volunteering thing to do. Uh, if it's like Habitat for Humanity, Boys and Girls Clubs, uh, through your church, uh, helping the homeless or helping those in need. Uh, just let me know because I, I really would like to know about that. Uh, like, as always, please subscribe. Those of you that have subscribed, I appreciate it. And those that are going to subscribe thank you i appreciate it as well and i appreciate all the love support
for the games that's going on this weekend, let me know who you got. I know Alabama's playing Southern Miss. I already know Bama's going to win that one. Roll Tide. Um, had to throw that one in there. Uh, Georgia and Notre Dame, big game at nighttime in Athens. Uh, what's another one? Michigan and Wisconsin. So those are the three games right now that I have on my mind that I know they're, well, really two, Notre Dame and Georgia and Wisconsin and Michigan. Those are the two big ones. Bama game, I mean, because that's my team. But let me know what team you're going for on that. Uh, appreciate it. Thank you, guys. And Sheesh Gang is out. Appreciate it.